airlift is a key player in most U.S. Air Force missions. Joint Base Charleston's 816th Expeditionary Airlift Squadron out of South Carolina takes charge of its role, one container delivery system, or CDS, at a time. In Afghanistan, isolated troops need supplies, and some of Carolina's finest are loading up. The 816th Expeditionary Airlift Squadron basically brings, uh, brings airlift power to the fight here in Afghanistan, uh, not just through the airland mission, but also the airdrop mission, which we're executing today, where we'll load up with um, CDS bundles and airdrop those to the troops on the ground. Delivering 120,000 pounds of food and fuel to a remote spot in the Afghan mountains requires a lot of moving parts and people. At the beginning and end, I have a checklist that tells me where I need to start and end on each bundle to make sure that uh, the webbing is correct, the parachute's correct, and the rigging is correct, and then sign it off and have a loadmaster sign it, and then we go from there. Once it's inspected, uh, we button everything up, and uh, we're pretty much clear to go drop. It's very exciting. Everything has to be done uh, exactly uh, by the book. Um, it's a culmination of uh, about eight hours of work and, uh, and six seconds of uh, loud noise. Uh, it's not something you get to do very often. Each extraction rolls out intent on bringing force superiority to the warfighter. Well, we bring uh, basically safety for our troops. We drop it from the air any place, any time. So we bring it as strong as we can, as fast as we can. For AFSET News, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Josie Anderson.